about the wrestlers you love. And if you're wondering why I was programmed with such a deep and manly voice, well, it's because the female computers all wanted to data base. <laughs> <laughs> Item, Hollywood has started a bowling league for juvenile delinquents. She says it's time we got the kids off the streets and put them back in the alley. <laughs> Item, while visiting Amy the farmer's daughter, California doll was caught feeding candy bars to the cows. When asked why she did such a thing, she said she just wanted to make chocolate milk. And now, now back at her own request, Colonel Minuchka. Thank you, Mr. Badlock. I have come back to let my fans know that even though the glow crown sits on Tina Ferrari's head, I will soon take it off her. And you think that you can take the crown off her that easily? I mean to take her head off that easily. Well, how can you say that when Tina Ferrari beat you for the GLOW title? The Colonel has never lost a fight in the ring. Well, how do you explain what happened to you with Tina? I don't have to explain anything to an overgrown calculator like you, Mr. Potluck. Oh, that's headlock. That's too bad. Goodbye. <laughs> and now... From the Riviera Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, another thrilling action-packed hour of GLOW! show in her first glow appearance, Sugar from New Orleans, Battles Attache. And then Amy, the farmer's daughter, and Little Egypt face the Soul Patrol. And finally, Mountain Fiji, Little Fiji, and Americana meet Matilda the Hun, Hollywood and Vine, in an apartheid match. And another exciting round of events from the Glow Games of Summer. This is David McLean, head of GLOW. How'd you like to have my wrestler, the California doll, as an astronaut? Is she qualified? Sure she is. She's off in space most of the time. <laughs> Hello? Hello? because this is the first time Sugar's gonna wrestle here on television. She was in New Orleans a few weeks ago when we were there on a tour, and you wanted to be a glow girl, and here you are. Oh, I must tell you, David, it's certainly like a dream come true to be a part of glow, and oh, it'll be so close to you, too. It's just it's so exciting. I don't know what to do. 
Well, Sugar, you're going to have some tough competition. Let me introduce your opponent. Thank you, baby. There she is, Sugar Fan, brand new glow girl. Her opponent from Corpus Christi, Texas, managed by Aunt Kitty, Atashe! We will see if Atashe puts some salt in Sugar's wounds. Sugar knows better than to trust Attaché. Ah, I guess Sugar has never seen Attaché do battle before. You mean she didn't know Attaché's dirty tricks? There you go. Say nasty things about that tache. This is polite soldier who... Polite? Certainly. You say she is saying welcome to the club. Now, Sugar's looking for an early end to this match. She may look, but she won't find it. And the she must have a sweet tooth. <laughs> and now sugar is giving attache a taste of her own medicine you know what they say just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down i saw that stupid movie and i don't think you're very cute what do you think of me colonel nanuchka i try not to think about you at all mr headlock say you said my name right don't get used to it looks like attache is trying to take a spoonful out of sugar it looks to me like sugar is a quick pick-me-up. I'm afraid Attaché is having a sugar dump. You see, Attaché uses military knowledge to help her defeat this new girl. Of course, if she depends on what the American army taught her, she may have problems. Well, I hope Sugar doesn't judge Glow by her opponent today. And what is that supposed to mean? Just that Attaché isn't the most honorable girl in Glow. How can you say this? Attaché is on her right now. <laughs> Maybe now we will see Attaché do what she does best, win. And what makes you so sure that Attaché will win? Because she is a true fighter and a lady. A lady? Attaché's idea of a lacy outfit is a boot with extra long laces. Ha, 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 ha. It seems that sugar is not Attaché's equal. She's certainly getting her lump. <laughs> so far, this sugar has proven that she can take a lot of punishment. Hmm, an American tradition. I tell you, this fight, which obviously belongs to Attaché, will not be so exciting, except for the creative ways Attaché has of punishing her opponent. Attaché seems to have gotten a stomachache from too much sugar. <laughs> you know, Mr. Bedbug, you are very funny. Really? Yes, but what aren't everything? In fact, in your case, they're nothing. I guess it's true that sugar has a lot of energy. <laughs> I don't see why Attaché is having so much problems with this girl from, um, where is she from? New Orleans. What is New Orleans? Haven't you ever been to Mardi Gras? Who is Marty? 
Never mind. Now we have real battle in the ring. This is something we Russians love. Competition. Is that why there are no free elections in your country? What you talking about? Every election day I go to vote. And whom did you vote for last time? Stupid question. I voted for the only candidate, of course. And you call those free elections? It didn't cost me anything. What is this sugar doing? Does she think there's room for everybody up there? She's not staying up there, and neither is that her shame. Look at that! A superplex from the top rope! Attaché is gone. Eh, it's beginner's luck. think of the shape of little Egypt is in. What are you talking about? She is shaped like a pear. I was talking about her condition. Ah, yes. She looks ready for conditional surrender. Their opponent today from Chicago's Cabrini Green, managed by Aunt Kitty, Envy, and Adore, the soul Still out here when people see us, they stand and cheer. There ain't no wrestler that we fear. If you wanna fight, we'll be here. Yeah! And what comments, if any, do you have on the Soul Patrol? Two wonderful girls who have risen above the rest of your stinking society. But what about their dirty tactics? Listen, Electro Cowboy. They get the job done. It's just like I said. See how easily they can handle their opponents? I see how well they handle those weapons. When are you going to learn? The only rule in the ring is survival. You see how Farmer's Daughter displays totally no respect for the rules, entering the ring first without taking her partner. Good, thank you, Mr. Referee. At last, a fair call. Well, that was quite a reversal by Little Egypt. Well, it seems our little belly dancer has found a new belly to dance on. <laughs> Sticking it to Little Egypt. <laughs> Mr. Livestock, you finally make a good job. Ah, uh, it is good to see the good guys winning for a change. You think that the Soul Patrol are good guys? Certainly. Who do you want me to root for? The girls that lived with the pig? Hog Hollow is just the name of a hometown. It doesn't mean that only pigs live there. Well, at least I know one little piggy that comes from there. This Amy is looking like she belongs on the farm. 
Do you really think so? Yes, a funny firm. <laughs> Sometimes I am so funny, I can't stand it. I can understand it either. Beautiful scissors and rollover. You see, Mr. Petrov, this is why Soap Pro must always win. Oh, that's headlock. And what are you talking about? I am talking about the way Envy and Adore support each other in the ring. Well, Amy's the one supporting Envy right now. Foul! Foul! What do you think this is, baseball? How would you like a bat in your belfry, Mr. Fusebox? Amy gets back in this match with that suplex. You know, Mr. Headlock, you said it right again. Of course. Listen, there is no reason you and I could not be friends. Really? Certainly. We could enjoy movies together, uh, play chess, even go on a trip together. A trip? To where? Russia, of course. No way. I know what you're up to. You want to get me back to Russia and steal my memory bank. What? You're not going to clean up my programming. I was too quick for you that time. Listen, Mr. Deadhead, Nestle is quicker than you. There goes the door, hailing into Amy the Farmer's daughter. Once again, the Soap Patrol regains the upper hand. Ah, oh, that little Egypt is so puny. I wonder how she even gets out of bed in the morning. Well, she probably has some help from the other girls there. What other girls? Well, some Egyptians sleep in harems, with many people sharing the same room. In the Russia, we have a word for this. And what would that be? Labor care. <laughs> Why are you not laughing? I am not amused. You are not smart either. has had enough losing for one day. I guess the Soul Patrol was the straw that broke the camel's back. Tell me, does this little seventh wonder from Egypt really ride a camel? Yes, she does. I wonder where she parks it. Probably in the camel lot. <laughs> I can't believe there was no call for that stick in the back. And I can't believe you are such a stick in the mud. Beautiful body slam. Once again, this soul patrol has defeated your puny good girl. <laughs> the winners of the match, the soul patrol. And Kitty, you've got it. Once again, we have proven we are the number one tag team. Doctor, I've really got insomnia. What should I do? Don't worry. I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best way to listen to David McLean's announcing? Through earplugs. <laughs> Waitress! Waitress! Yeah, what do you want? You got something for me to, uh, nibble on? Yeah, how about a knuckle sandwich? <laughs> I heard there was a big argument last night. Yeah, the Soul Patrol took a cab and wouldn't give it back. CC2, points to ponder. If Attaché owned a lot of armored vehicles, would she say tanks a million? <laughs> if you worked for a laundry all day, would you become ironing boards? <laughs> 
if a pig got together with his divorced wife, would they be bacon and X? <laughs> do, 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 do. Hi, gals. Tina Ferrari here with another tip on how to get the man you want. Too many women are overly concerned about a man's occupation. His profession shouldn't be a problem, as long as he's loving and supportive. Why worry about his occupation, as long as he's occupied with you? So go on, ladies. Work on it. Get the man you want. We're in the Mardi Gras Plaza of the Riviera Hotel, and we're preparing fans for seven big heats. You're going to see the gorgeous ladies of wrestling, Kitty's Killers in there against the lone sweethearts going up the escalators. And I'm here with my co-host, the beautiful Susie Spirit. Susie, tell the people at home about this event. Well, David, for the escalator races, the competitors must run up the down escalator, across the top, and down their opponent's side to win. We have seven heats in this event, three one-on-one -on -one and four tag team matches. The first six heats are worth three points apiece. And our grand finale, Matilda the Hun versus Mountain Fiji, is worth seven points. We're ready to go with the first event. Now, let's go to the wrestlers. First up, representing Stallone's sweetheart from Malibu, California, we have the California Doll. Racing the California Doll up the escalators today from Chicago's Cabrini Green, Aunt Kitty's girl, Envy of the Soul Patrol. Now, a note, they have to start behind the grid. There they go, the doll trip. Envy of the Soul Patrol's up first to see at the lead. The doll with the big smile. They meet at the top of the stairs. It's a clean break. Envy of the Soul Patrol's moving. And I believe she might have won. The doll trip. The doll trip in the beginning. Envy of Soul Patrol's the winner. Our next competitor in the escalator race is my cheerleading partner, Debbie Debutante from Jerry Ann, Connecticut. Let's hear it for Debbie. Debbie Debutante's opponent today from Corpus Christi, Texas, and it looks like she has her dog tags around her neck. Attache! Are you ready for the event? Attaché plans to take a running start, which is fair. Frank Diamato, are you ready? Ready, girl? Woo! And it's a clean start. Attaché's cheating, I believe. We'll have to have a ruling for the referees. Debbie Debutante going up the stairs. Debbie Debutante coming down. Attaché comes down, and Debbie Debutante sliding. We're going to have to have a ruling for the judges. The judges, Mark Sturbins and Sam DeStefano. Specifically states that she must touch every step. She did not. Thus, Susie Spirit, attaché, is disqualified. The winner is Debbie Debutante. That's the way it should be. That's the way we like to hear. The score is even now for the escalator races. Three points to three points. And now for our third escalator race, we're going to have a tag team heat. Representing Stallone's sweethearts, we have Tammy Jones and Little Egypt. And their opponents in this tag team heat going right up the escalators, the two hooded girls on Aunt Kitty's killer's team, Sarah and Mabel. Positions, okay. wrestlers. Ready? And there they go, Little Egypt up on the right. Mabel up on, it looks like a dead even heat, but right in the middle, Mabel took a head. She's to the other escalator, they meet in between. Little Egypt tries to slow her up. Mabel's coming down, and Mabel comes down, and she's gonna make the first tag. Oh, Little Egypt meets, she's in trouble. Tammy Jones is going up, she's way behind. Sarah's all the way up. Sarah's coming down, and they're gonna meet at the top of the escalators. Tammy Jones and Sarah are going down. Tammy Jones lost some steps, and it looks like Kitty Killers have an advantage. Tammy Jones is still coming down, and she's prancing, and she makes it. Winner, the right? bad guys are taking over. Right. Sarah and Mabel have been declared the winners.
fans, we're coming back with more of the escalator races. You won't want to miss it. And Kitty's Killers are doing just that. They're killing the sweethearts. Uh, it's not looking too good for Stallone's sweethearts today. Kitty's Killers are already up on us. But we start off our next two sweethearts, we have Tara and Scarlett, the Southern Bells. Well, they're in there against two rough ones, Spike and Chainsaw. Ready? And... Oh, I can't believe it! Heavy Metal's right up there first. They collide at the top of the stairs, coming down to Southern Bells. He's gaining on her. Chainsaw's down. It's a dead even heat. It's a dead even heat. Spike and Terror up the stairs. Terror's losing. Losing grass. Spike is around the corner faster. Spike is right there. Barbara Hayes judging the action. Spike is down the stairs first. And Tara is still up there. We'll have to have an official word from the judges. Barbara Hayes, is everything okay? She says everything's fine. The winner of the match. the mass heavy metal Susie Spirit. This heat is a singles heat. And on my right, the terrorist from Damascus, Syria, Palestina. No secret, the, sec the sweethearts need these points and we're bringing up our most powerful sweetheart to race. We have here Olympia. Frank Diamato, let's get it on. Okay, here we go, David. Ready? And it looks like a clean start. The girls are going up right now. Palestine and Olympia. It's a dead even heat. It's clean at the top. Palestine is coming down. Oh my, what a race. Susie Spirit, the winner of that match is Palestina from Kitty's Killers. Our next two sweethearts, the Glamour Girls. Tina and Ashley from Beverly Hills, California. And they're in there against Aunt Tinny's Hollywood and bye. All right, we're ready to go. The judges are giving me the okay. Frank Diamato, you ready? Barbara Hayes is ready. Go! <laughs> Ashley and Vine both trip. Ashley and Vine, it's an even roll right up. Barbara Hayes up there checking the action. Vine down the stairs first. Barbara Hayes is blowing the whistle. Barbara Hayes is blowing the whistle. Barbara Hayes is blowing the whistle, but the match continues. Hollywood's going up. Tina's going up. We're going to get the word for Barbara Hayes. And we'll, oh, the two of them meet again. Barbara Hayes is going to have to make a ruling right there. Hollywood's going down the steps. Hollywood's off the railing first. Tina's coming down. We're going to have a ruling from the judges. Vine initiated a contact at the top of the stairs. The winner of the bout, Tina and Ashley. Susie Spirit, they've got one. Yeah, Tina and Ashley. Three points for Stallone Sweethearts on that one. And this heat, the match everybody's been waiting for. The giants of the wrestling world going right up the escalator as fast as they can. Susie Spirit, give us the introduction. From Samoa, David, we have, weighing 350 pounds, the powerful Mountain Fiji. Mountain Fiji, right there. Now, Mountain Fiji's opponent today, the other giant of the wrestling world from Hamburg, Germany, over 280 pounds, Matilda the Hun. The heat is ready to come in, Susie Spirit, Matilda the Hun, Frank DeMotto, let's go. Ready, and... <laughs> Matilda the Hun and Mount Fiji, the giants of the wrestling world, going up the escalators of the Riviera Hotel. Fiji's up first, and she's around the bend. Fiji's coming down, Matilda's on my right. Fiji's coming down the set, and she's in first. Let's see who the official winner. Oh, no, Mark Service, who's the winner? Mount Fiji was the winner. Mount Fiji's the winner. Riviera Security. Somebody get in there and break this up. Break this up now. The winner of the heat, Mount Fiji. Thank you. 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 
and that Ruby. is a total of seven points awarded to Salon Sweethearts for that race. me about school and I said it meant nothing. <laughs> Hello, Vladimir. You are very late with your report. What have you been up to? You spent the whole day talking to a man named Quasimodo. Did you know him? No. But his name... <laughs> I heard the headhunter attacked her psychiatry. Yeah. She shrunk her strength. <laughs> of African apartheid Max. The best. Two out of three falls. The combatants are first from the streets of Hollywood, Hollywood and by. Accompany them from East Germany at 280 pounds, Matilda the Hun. I don't believe it. That's the flag of the South African neo-Nazi party. Don't get so upset, Mr. Chowderhead. It is only political point of view. It's one point that no one should ponder. that Mountain Fiji is at a disadvantage. She's not used to fighting with weapons. That two-ton powder puff is always at disadvantage. She is really looking beat. <laughs> Matilda is not giving up. She is more woman than anyone can handle. She's more woman than any eight can handle. This is beginning to look like a real circus. Look at the two elephants fighting in the center of the ring. I wonder how much those two weigh together. 
if you could find a scale big enough for both of them, it would probably spin around twice, and then when you look down, it would say Elf of Order. Not in Fiji put that headlock on Matilda. Incredible. What is incredible is that the ring does not collapse with those two in there. This fight is getting totally out of control. In Russia, we would never have such chaos, with many people beating up each other. Oh, no? Of course not. In Russia, we have the best police in the world. Every time a crime is committed, we send criminals to jail. Sometimes even before. It is so dangerous having Matilda and Mount Fiji in the same corner. The ring might start to lift up. Look at how Matilda chokes. She really is full of hate. And I suppose that that little savage is full of love for Vine? Well, this should look familiar to Matilda. Only last time, she was on the other end of this crush. And now Vine finds herself caught in rush hour traffic. <laughs> I have heard of heavy traffic, but this is disgusting. And now Mountain Fiji is peeling away to get to Matilda. It figures you would think that is appealing. Now these two are just getting started. Mount Fiji looks like she's almost finished. And Americana wraps Vine into a small package for the pin. Don't forget, Mr. Hardnock. This is only the first of three falls. Get on with it already. This is disgusting. It seems that Matilda is all choked up over losing the first ball. <laughs> Say it is a good job. You see, when you make fun of the right people, I laugh. This is what I like about wrestling. Where else could you have so much fun with nobody getting hurt? But don't you see the pain on Mount Fiji's face? I meant nobody I like gets here. Ah, oh, Vine is so generous when it comes to fame. She would rather give than receive. <laughs> now, Mountain Fiji is fighting the fight of her life. Too bad her life is not worth fighting for. It would seem that Matilda's girls are proving their superiority. When will that Americana learn to send her her own two feet? I tell you, she is a washed up has been. It looks like Americana is about to discover her roots. <laughs> Matilda's hammering away at Fiji. This is like chipping at iceberg with a toothpick. I tell you, it looks like these girls are in total control. See, I told you they would win. There's still one more pin to go.
Well, Matilda uses that whip like a doctor wields a scalpel. Maybe like an American doctor. Look how they lay there, like a pair of saggy socks. They make a perfect pair, like two bookends of pain. <laughs> My goodness! She hit Mountain Fiji right in the face! Believe me, nothing could make that face look worse. <laughs> Mountain Fiji lifts Matilda right up! No one else could do that without a crane. Would you look at that airplane? Now that's what I call a wide body flight. Ha <laughs> ha! Did you see that body slam? See it? I felt it. It is like an earthquake. Well, it looks like it's time to pile up all the trash. <laughs> that little pip quick, she can't even lift Hollywood. She has to push her from behind that whip. Well, there's a lot of weight right there. I'm surprised that they don't fall through to China. I am amazed that the canvas mat has not torn under all the weight. It must be made of the same material as Fiji's pants. The winners of the third fall in match, Americana Little Fiji and Mountain Fiji. Dear Cousin Cora, you get the chance to meet all kinds of important folks in Las Vegas. Why, just the other night, a politician asked me to work for him, planning a law. It's true. He said he wanted me to handle a proposition. I miss all the folks back home in Hog Hollow and keep you in all my prayers. Love, Amy. Look at these. Oh, wow. Beautiful picture of you. Isn't that? Yeah. Ooh. Hey, but where's Mountain Fiji? Hey, ooh. For the hottest moves in town, dial 1-900-660-GAL for GLOW, those gorgeous ladies of wrestling. A dollar fifty the first minute, 35 cents each additional minute. California dolls' grays are just like low brown. Yeah, below sea level. <laughs> Coming up next on TV 15, the president and his immediate family spend a chaotic night in a nuclear fallout shelter on Mr. President. Then at 7.30, it's women in prison, followed at 8 by the new adventures of Beams Baxter and Second Chance at 8.30. That's all tonight from Fox on TV 15. Oh, what is it now, Aunt Kitty? Mmm, snow Hollywood, David. Doesn't it make your mouth water? On the contrary, it makes my eyes water. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> 